Hey, hi everybody, it's Shay. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to go over some of the tips and tricks that I have learned, uh, or the community has also learned, for Coral Island. Things that will make the, the game a little bit easier here and there, and just some fun things to share with you guys. So, let's get started. But before we do that, if you would, please tickle that like button for me. It will really help me out on my journey uh, to become a content creator. Um, and I really, really would appreciate it. Without a further ado, let's get going. So in the settings, this is where I want to start. In the settings, we're going to go to the auto sprint. And I like to enable this. And so you'll be able to hit the uh, shift button and it will auto sprint for you. And so I think that's a good thing to have when you're trying to move around this very large map. Uh, it makes it a little easier. The next thing that I want to show you is right here. It's the game time speed and it defaults at 100% all the way over here, which is going to be, well, let me get it going. Can't seem to want to get it to go. There we go. <laughs> so it starts at 100% at default, and that is the shortest day cycle. When I'm starting a game like this, I want the maximum time I can have in a day to explore, to collect things, to do some of the quest. And if it goes by really quickly, I don't get a lot done. So I am going to bump this all the way down to 50% and give me the maximum amount of time in a day to complete the things that I want to get done uh, during the day. All right, for the next thing, um, we're going to go ahead and get in the game. Let's apply here and make sure that we save these changes. All right, we're going to go ahead and hop in the game. And we'll just hop into my personal save file. It is in fall, um, and I will not talk about any spoilers as we go along here. So have no fear. The, the landscape will just look a little bit more appropriate for this time of year. Fall is my favorite time of year, so I really think that the island is beautiful, how they've created it to look in the fall. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk about that really helped me out when I got started was to gather as much wood and trash that I could at the beginning so I could create the boxes here for storage. Um, if you've played any farming sims games or slice of life games, you know that you collect a lot of things, flowers, fruits, uh, materials. And so right off the bat, it's good to have these to store um, your items in. So at the beginning, gather as much wood and trash as you can so you can uh, have these chests available for you and you don't have to sell your stuff. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is pretty early on, you're going to get a quest to go to the... Um, Lake Temple, and then you will be able to, let me go and show you, unlock fast travel. It will unlock fast travel points on your map. You see these little white dots? Pretty early on. So what you will need to do is complete that quest, and then you will be able to do offerings. And offerings will allow you uh, different different things to do let's see if we can get this to why do you not want to open look now i'm trying to record a video let's open and do this thing okay doesn't want wow okay here we go sorry about that it was being a little tricky so this one here um opened the recycling machine for me and it shows you what you can turn in to have that happen for you and that very first quest will also help you to unlock the ability for the fast travel 
Um, and if you look here, I didn't complete the spraying one because I was not paying attention. And so I didn't get the sugar cane unlocked. But these are the items that you would have needed to gather to get that to unlock. So, like I said, very early on you will get the quest to complete these. You'll have a summer season. You'll have fall season, winter season, and then ocean scavengeables. Um, and then once you complete them all, you can unlock your greenhouse. Okay. Next tip I want to share is we're going to go to, let's just walk it. We're going to go to the town hall. And in the town hall, there is a board that will show you what your town rank is. And I'll show you where that is. And I still have trouble getting around, so bear with me if I get lost. It's a huge, this place is huge. Okay, let's go down here. Um, we're going to go. Am I doing the right thing? Okay, and I think we want to go over here. Uh, okay. We want to go over here to the town hall. That's this big building here. And we'll go inside. Town center, I'm sorry. And then we'll go all the way to the back. Isn't this beautiful? This is beautiful. So detailed. Okay, back here is your board. Um, and you start as an F. And right now I'm at an E. So as you um, upgrade in your rank, you will also unlock things in the store, in the general store. Like new seeds will become available to you. At least that's what I've noticed so far. I haven't found anything else just yet that it um, that it allows you more access to. If you know of something, please put it in the comments below so I know um, whatever that might be. But right now what I've noticed is that it unlocks more available seeds to you in the general store. Okay. And we'll head to the general store. And once we get there, it will be my next tip that I've learned. If you come to this board here and you check the calendar, it will show you down here that on the 15th of fall, you will have the Mooncake Festival. And on the 28th, you will have Pet Day. As it is right now, as far as I have noticed, they're only allowing us one festival per season. I don't think both of them are unlocked yet. Um, and even at that, some of the festival festivities I've noticed have not been available. So I still go to them. I still want to enjoy what they have available to us now. But as of right now, I don't think that they're complete. So that is that tip. And then you'll also get to see the birthdays of the uh, townies that are available for you to go give gifts to, to help with your reputation with them. Okay, moving on. Number seven, let's see if we can find one, but on your daily travels, you're going to want to look for what I call dig spots. Let's see if we can find one. I often find one on the beach. So maybe we can go down to the beach and I can find one there. Let's see if we can come across one. They look like four leaf clovers. And of course, I'm not seeing one right away. Okay, let's go up here. When you need one, right? They'll be in the ground here, and they'll look like four-leaf clovers. Here's one. Um, and you will take your hoe, and you will hit it like that, and you'll get an item out of it. 
A lot of times it is just trash, but to me, trash is very valuable because it is um, something that you use to craft items with. So I like to have as much of it as possible. So when I go in the ocean to do the ocean diving, I collect it there. I get it from the trash cans that you um, that you go around and we'll walk over and do that here in just a second. And then from these dig sites, I refer to them as like the Diggly Wigglies. That's what I call them in Stardew Valley. So you look for those. I also, on that note, rummage through the trash and get, you see I get trash here. Um, and sometimes you can get more rare items um, out of the trash cans, which is good as well. Um, the space bar, my next tip, tip number eight, is going to be the space bar is your friend. If you hit the space bar, it helps you sprint forward a little bit. And that is helpful to get around this huge map. If you can see how big this map is, it takes time to get from place to place, especially if you haven't unlocked your fast travel spots yet. So, use your space bar. All right, number nine is 1 a.m. 1 a.m. is the wherever you are, you're going to pass out time. So, I like to make it back to my farm or my house at midnight so I can wrap up the things that I need to do there, whether it be farming, uh, any you know, last daily chores that I need to do, or if I'm just putting stuff in the shipping bin to be shipped overnight. I like to come back here at midnight and make sure that I get those items completed. All right, 10, my last tip is to explore everywhere. See everything, and you might find random treasure chests or coffers, uh, kind of around behind trees and stuff. So I, uh, my advice is that you look everywhere, behind everything. I have found um, chest in the dig spots. I have found coffers behind trees. So it's um, a good idea to just look at everything. Also, my little bonus tip, which is not really a tip, it's just fun and convenient, is fence jumping. You can jump the fences, which makes the gates kind of null and void, but fence jumping is wonderful if you're just trying to get in here and get things done. All right. If you have any other tips and tricks that you've learned or you have seen on um, somebody else's uh, somebody else's site or video that maybe I didn't go over and you want to help a community out, put them down in the comments below. We all need to work together as a Coral Island community so we can make time uh, more efficient and maximize our time on Coral Island. Thanks again for stopping by and again please tickle that like button on your way out. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.